was a little girl, I had a very simple notion of love. He'd be tall, white, and handsome. But growing up, I was told there were many different types of men. The bad boy, Mr. Nice Guy, the alpha male, the list goes on. These categories are nothing more than meaningless stereotypes. In life, every girl really only dates three men. Youth, he's the one who wrote your love letters. He's the one who tried to get your number at school. He's the one who won your heart through childish means. He's the one you took long bus rides with. He's the one who stole all your firsts, your first date, your first handhold, your first walk home, your first kiss. But he's also the first you lose. Not because you didn't love him, but because growing up, you realize that in life, some stay and others go. And that sometimes, we don't just grow up, we also grow apart. Youth, he was your first lover, he was your first heartbreak. Love, he's a stranger turned best friend. He's the one that made you realize why things didn't work out previously. He's the one that made the past heartbreaks worthwhile. He's a boy who doesn't just send you home, but enters home hand in hand with you. He's the boy you date at home, the one you cuddle at home while watching movies. He's the one you'd even bother watching soccer for. He's the one who holds your hand in town when you're all glamorously met up. He's the one you grow up with. Unlike youth, love knows you inside out. He always knows when you need a shoulder to lean on, an ear to run to, or a hand to reach out to. He's the boy you're proud to bring home to your parents. He's protective like your father, annoying like your brother, but loving like no other. He's the boy you see your future with. He's the boy you willingly forsake all other boys for. For the lucky girl, love is also the boy you grow old with. For others, love simply is the one that got away. Marriage. He's a financially stable one. He's a career man. He's the one who wakes up dawn in a work suit in Oxfords. He may not surprise you like love did. He may not excite you like youth did. He may not be as cute and dashing as youth or as fun and passionate as love. But for once in your life, you worry less about growing apart while growing up. By the time you meet marriage, you recognize love isn't sufficient to sustain a relationship. You recognize that fun and looks don't last. Marriage is ultimately the one you spend the rest of your life with. Not because he's passionate, not because being with him is fun, but because he's what you need. A stable partner who publicly promises to grow old with you in illness or health, riches or poor, for better or worse. A lot of us believe true love is about finding the right one. But true love really is more a matter of timing. People eventually get sick of waiting, but never give up. Sometimes, the answer you're looking for is the same answer another person is looking for. Just trust the process. <laughs>